name is Raw Sky. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a very special guest. This lady is one of my best friends. She's amazing. You probably know her, Gillian Berry. Welcome to my oh, channel. I love you, Sky. Love you. Thank you. It's so nice. This feels very reverse. Yeah, it does. Usually I'm used to interviewing, but if I'm going to do an interview, I want to do it in a safe space, and I know Sky is a safe space. So. And this is really exciting because I've got some people in my group to ask some questions that they want to know from Gillian. So I will just ask the questions yeah, and go I love for it. it. Okay. So the first question is, this is a good one. So how does she decide who to interview? Is it based on health topics or are there other topics she likes as well? Yeah. Okay. So when I'm going to, how I decide to interview somebody is usually I'll be on social media or I'll be hanging out somewhere and somebody will come in and be telling something about their life or I'll see a glimpse of something with their life on social media and I'll get like some form of inspiration inside me, like some form of, oh, I'm, I'm in, I feel inspired by this person and then I'll ask them to come on. Or there's been a couple of cases where people reach out to me and they sound very inspiring to me, it triggers a chord with me, and then I'll ask them to come on. I love it, yeah. I love it. So it's like going with your heart. It's all yeah. part of it, part it's of the project, driven. right? Yeah. Okay, this next one is, ask her about her best friends and also her opinion is, what is wrong with cooked foods? Okay, heavy two questions. <laughs> yeah, two in one there. No, these are great. Well, you're definitely my best friend. You're one of my best friends. I have a few different best friends, but Sky is definitely one of them. She is the person I usually run to, one of them, when things are happening, good or bad, and she's always there for me. Aww. And I've been through some hard times the last few years, and you, AJ, my friend Helia, you guys are just so supportive. I think it's important we surround ourselves with people who are supportive, make us feel better, bring out our best selves, who are positive and encouraging and want to see you do well and be your best self. That's right. I think that's really good advice. I yeah. love that. Okay, so this person has also asked, what is wrong with cooked foods? Okay, so I don't think anything is necessarily wrong. I think people have to listen to what makes their body feel good. If people still feel as good having some cooked foods, then I say by all means go for it. For me, I don't feel my best self on the cooked foods. That's why I eat raw. But I do still interview people who thrive and reverse things and are living a good life who are plant-based or high raw but do eat some cooked food so I think it's just all about finding what works for you a hundred percent I think that's key what works for you yeah um, okay someone's asked I would be interested in tips on doing the raw diet in colder climates the fruit is mainly imported and not so nice any tips on this and affordability yeah because right now I live in Toronto Canada as you know it gets very cold it is pretty when we get a lot of snow but we don't always get that but there's ways you can warm up. So many people don't know if you add certain spices into your lifestyle in those colder months, like cayenne, ginger, turmeric, like get into the curries and all that. And it has a naturally warming effect on your body. Yeah. And I think it's all about movement too, right? If you're eating cold food and you're sitting around, like you're gonna be cold, like we need to get moving. So I think it gives you a good excuse to like get moving more. Love you know, that. drink your smoothie, but then run around and clean the house. You're not gonna typically feel cold. So there's many little tricks around it. And I would say take out your food from the fridge like a few hours before you're going to prepare dinner and then eat your food more at room temperature, drink your water at room temperature. Good I would tips. try that. Yeah. I like those. They're very good tips. Okay. This person said, just give her a big fat hug and tell her she's amazing, uh -huh. inspirational, loving light to this world. And I thank her and love her. It's a goal of mine to be interviewed by her one day, but I've got to get there. So Aww. let me give you a big hug. You inspire so Aww. many people. That makes me happy. And on this trip, because we're in Hawaii, I mean, there's just moments where I feel so proud. Like, I know I know Aww. how hard you work. Yeah. Like, I know everybody sees the front of what she does, but behind the scenes, there is so much work. So yeah. that was well-deserved. Okay. Sweet. Now, um, this is, when she fasted, did you do mono meals, mm -hmm. juice, for how long, for how often did you fast? Okay, so I've done a 37 day juice fast. That was the best I've ever felt. That was a really incredible experience, really spiritual experience. I felt so connected to God. I felt like I felt like I was tapped in, tuned in, turned on, whatever they say. Like I could feel like God is literally speaking to us through people or through things at like every instance and moment. So I felt really connected, a lot of synchronicities. So that was my favorite part for spiritual reasons. And I also did 21 days on watermelon, which I loved. And I think I did 28 days on grapes. I have a video, I forget how long it was. That was probably the toughest cleanse, but that felt like a very deep cleanse, the grapes. The yeah, grapes so they're grapes. all awesome in their own way. And I do really want to do a water cleanse at some point. I just don't know when. Can I ask out of all of those, the juice, the watermelon, the grapes, not so much which is your favorite, but which would you recommend to start with? 
Maybe the watermelon might be easiest for right. people to do like three, just three days for a cleanse or something. Sure. Or like, don't feel like you have to take on like a big amount. Just do like a few days, see how you feel. I think that's really wise, yeah. especially getting started. Doing yeah. Cleaning, so. Yeah, you don't have to do all that. I like that. Okay. Now, someone else is, um, oh no, this is a good question. So which is worse? I know there's a lot of people who, who wonder about this because some people say, and I'll tell you the question yeah. first. Which is worse? cooked food that's low fat or raw vegan high fat? I don't know. Well, I eat high fat sometimes. So I, I would say probably it depends. Everybody is different. I've heard some people say they're sensitive to that. So I would say like the right or wrong would be listening to your body and trying each one. Yeah. Um, and finding what is best for you. Maybe that's not even either of those. Maybe it's raw, like not high fat or something. You know, I do eat a lot of fat. I am gonna try like scale back a little bit and see if I notice a difference. But yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that because I would at this present time I would say I enjoy high fat. If I have cooked, I'm no good. Mm -hmm. But there's people who definitely enjoy a little bit of sweet potato on top yeah. of the salad, yeah. so they avoid fat. So yeah, you do you exactly. Okay. Um, that's all we've got. Oh, that's it? That's Are all you we've sure? Got. That's all we've yeah. got. But I did want to ask you, is yeah. there anything more that you want to share? Um, I just want to say, like, okay. I guess I would just want to say, like, I eat the raw foods because it makes me live my best self. That's what made me feel like my highest self. That's what led me into my purpose. That's what energizes and excites me every day because I'm so feel fulfilled on, like, a soul level because it's led me to my passion and purpose, like, if you even just exclude the food. And the foods just give you the energy, like eat good to feel good, eat what makes you feel your best. The raw food just gives me the best energy, the mm -hmm. highest level of creativity, just turns me into my best self. And I don't think it makes everything like perfect. You still experience things in life, but it just sets you up to be your best self, to experience things that might be less than perfect. And it's just my favorite way. The raw food is alive. It makes you feel alive, right? It's hard to feel less than alive when you're eating the raw food. 100% and I just want to say don't feel bad if you're not at raw yet so if you're still eating cooked foods mm -hmm. and it's helping you heal don't always be putting yourself down because I think that's a huge thing too that inner voice like it be is. proud of where you're at like if it's you know you're now doing all you know um, plant-based foods and you're getting better you've got to own that so yeah that when you get to the next level you own that otherwise you'll always be chasing some sort of goal right yeah and i think it's for some people it is too extreme and i get that i think it's just more about eating more plants eat high yes. plant if you can even if it's cooked and i think it's just about not being so excessive with the animal products like people are so excessive with it so if you feel like you can't give that up maybe just have it like once or twice a week you know and go high plants and even if you have to eat cooked food it's okay and yeah just take out the processed food too that's like a huge thing right people don't even realize how inflammatory and how that affects our brain even our thinking or everything truly and then you start getting things like brain fog and that's when you reach for the coffees or the alcohol to kind of clean up the mess that's going well you think you're cleaning it up to get through the day so mm -hmm. listen to your body guys and yeah. thank you oh, that thank was amazing you. i love that and sky and i have been having the best time in hawaii just surround yourself with people who make you laugh we have been laughing every day just having the time of our lives so and follow yes. sky's channel if you don't already i'm sure you do but follow sky she's amazing yes yeah, so i was gonna say if you haven't subscribed please subscribe Good. below thanks guys see bye. you all soon Love bye you